Hi. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see all of you here. Can you hear me? Good to see you here in this second Sunday of the new year. Uh, have you noticed how the days are already getting longer? No. <laughs> Makes you feel like spring. Dark <laughs> yesterday, yesterday afternoon, I really felt like it was spring. It was 40 degrees. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I heard yeah, yeah. Robert, Robert was probably out loud his garden. <laughs> well, let me... Uh, share a couple of things with you before I start the announcements this morning. Uh, I would like to really start encouraging you to, uh, to uh, pray for us concerning the mission trip to Arizona. Uh, that's not too far away, a uh, month and a half. Uh, and uh, we really need your prayers concerning that for all the details that have to come together uh, for us to go. There are some things that have to fall into place for that to happen. And I want you to help us pray that that will happen. And then also pray just for the ministry itself while we're down there. I, I want everybody to understand two things. One is this is not a vacation. Okay? When we go on vacation, we tell you we go on vacation. This is not a vacation. This is a mission trip to Arizona to reach out to bikers that are down there uh, from up north and everywhere else that are, that are escaping the cold weather and the snow. And uh, we hope to go down there and make contact with them and uh, minister to them. So we will be actively involved in outreach ministry to bikers during the time we're there. So it is a mission trip, not a vacation. And so we want you to help us pray uh, that uh, we will be able to do everything that we're supposed to do while we're down there. Now, the church will continue to go on just like normal. Okay? Uh, Gordon will be preaching. Uh, Gordon and Colette and Robert and Lee will sort of be leading the church in the direction it needs to continue to go. And we will be back before you hardly know that we have been gone. And uh, so everything will go smoothly. Another thing I would like to share that I don't want any confusion about is this. We are not going down there seeking to establish a church so that we can leave here and go down there and pastor that church. Our full intention, God willing, is to continue here until two years from this coming March. Now, the reason for two years from this coming March is simply this. The church lease is up then. They want us to lease for five years. We talked to them in this last time for only three. So, when the church lease ends, Belita and I do not want to be the ones who lead the church into another three to five year lease. You understand what I'm saying? Because we feel like we would be responsible for that, and we are not planning, unless God has some other plans, to, to pastor past two and a half more years. Okay? So, that would be the reason that we would... Uh, be leaving the church two years from this coming March, which is two years and three months from now. So we're not doing anything in Arizona to do anything about leaving this church before two years and three months from now. But whatever happens, our plan is to leave this church two years and three months from now. Okay? And so we, we, we want you to join us in prayer that God will uh, provide... Uh, those that will take our place uh, two years and three months from now. And hopefully everything will be able to continue on with the church just as it has the past 13 and a half years. Uh, pastors leave churches all the time and the churches continue. Uh, it, it should never be that a church um, 
that a church operates around a pastor. It should be that the church operates because God planted that church. And it should continue to operate no matter who the pastor is. Uh, the, the pastor is just the person that God is using at that time. And when God removes that pastor, then and another comes in, then the church should get around that pastor and follow that pastor and the ministry that God is leading that pastor to lead the church in. And, um, and so those are all very important things that, I, that we need to understand about this trip to Arizona because I don't want any confusion in anyone's mind about what it's about, what it means for, for the church now or anything. Two years and three months from now, we could have already been in heaven with the rapture happening so long that we were even not even thinking about Arizona. Okay? First choice. Yeah. So so don't begin to worry about two years and three months from now. God will take care of that, and it'll all be right in its own time. Uh, but please do begin to pray for us uh, about the the mission trip to to Arizona. Uh, there's, there's a couple of things that really need to fall in place to, 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 for everything to, to go just as, as, uh, as planned. So uh, prayerfully and hopefully uh, God will bring those things to pass. Okay, thank you for letting me share that. Uh, and I will be reminding you uh, between now and then about praying for us, okay? Because we need uh, that. If we, don't, if we don't have God's blessing on that, then we will have gone down there for no reason. Uh, basically. Uh, so, if he doesn't bless something, then it's not going to happen. Uh, we can't make things happen. I found that out long, 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 long ago. Long ago. Okay, 12 o'clock today is our leadership meeting for those of you involved in that. And we uh, are continuing our studies on uh, Thursday night, uh, Genesis through Revelation at 7 o'clock. Uh, mm -hmm. encourage you to join us if you would like to be, get in on that. We're still very, very early in the, the stages of the study in uh, uh, the Old Testament. So there's a lot left to go. So you can join at uh, any time and still be okay. 8.30 Thursday, January the 20th is our next men's breakfast. And I understand Robert did a good job with the devotion last time. Yes. The ladies are, the ladies are playing. And I understand uh, Dennis is doing the devotional this coming time. Okay. So uh, that will be uh, something to look forward to also. February the 12th. It's going to be the ICMS Cabin Fever Dance. Might want to put that on your on your calendar. That's uh, something that ICMS does every year. That's sort of a fun event. And uh, there are a lot of other things that are going to be coming up in April and May and things like that. But we'll wait on uh, giving you the dates on those a little bit later. Uh, but we're hoping to have a really, really, really active ride and drive season this year. I uh, hope that we can make a, a lot of contacts and as um, Heidi was saying a while ago, uh, praying that a lot of people will come into our church uh, over uh, this summer season and the contacts that we'll have out amongst the bikers and the hot rodders and, and uh, any other people that you have, have contact with as you're out there in, in the world. Okay, uh, today we have Colette and the entire company. <laughs> Gordon, we missed you last week. I, I gave false information about Gordon. Oh, he was in jail? <laughs> uh, but, I, but Gordon, I cleared it up. I cleared it up. After, I just gave what I heard, but then I realized there was more to it, and I, I, I made it clear. Uh, Gordon was not arrested. Uh, <laughs> Gordon was not involved in a shootout. <laughs> but Gordon got sidetracked because of the shootout. And he got delayed for about two days. 
because of that and snowstorms. But we're glad to have you back, Lord. Uh, so these guys are going to lead us in worship after Belita leads us in prayer. Yes. Jimmy says hi to everybody. He has started his treatments. Uh -huh. So he is taking the month of January off. I just want you all to know the first one went super good so far. And we will start again tomorrow. And they will, they're doing transfusions. But he just wanted to make sure I told everyone to say how old. So is he uh, just very weak and run down when he has he is for a couple of days. I got sick right after Christmas, and the first appointment for him, oh my goodness, I had to run in and wave my hand and let him know that he had a ride, and then I had to leave because I was sick, and I just left him there, and he was there for four hours getting the, the transfusion of what they wanted to send away. And we do that on Monday, and then on Thursday, he gets another transfusion of the treated blood with the ProVenge in it. The ProVenge is a new treatment, and Jimmy has chose to try it. So it's an hour thing, and because of the weather and everything, where we had stress, we first the nurse got stranded in Salt Lake, couldn't get to Red Cross at times, so all of his appointments were changed. But once they draw the blood, it's a done deal. The next pr process has to be done within so many hours. And so tomorrow we do the second round, and then Thursday, provided no weather, no setbacks, it will get there, and then he'll go and have it transfused back into my And he will do that four times. Three times, three times, six appointments, but three. One is a collection, one is the infusion with the cancer drug in it. And we will do, this is the second time, then we skip a week, and then we do another week. And we're gonna find out more how it's gonna affect him once the full capacity of the dose is it's in. in. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so then, He's having to stay home and all so he doesn't get exposed to you. He's, that was his choice because of where he works. He works at the recycle place. There's a lot of germs there. So he chose to take his paid time and be safe and because we just can't afford for him to get sick, sure. you know. Sure. And then he's kind of sniffling today because he got what I had a week ago, and so we're giving vitamin C and all kinds of stuff because he can't be sick. He has to be, you know, because they do vitals and all that. On him. But okay. thank you, everyone. Well, tell him we miss him and we're praying for him and hope everything will go well. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Take a join me now. Father, we just come before you realizing that you're Almighty God. That these things that we've discussed here this morning that we bring before you that you are more than ready and willing and able to answer those father and we trust you with them father the issue uh, with Jimmy we just thank you father for uh, a new medication that may uh, heal his body but father we know that ultimately you're the cause of that you are the person you are the one who gives the doctors and the research people the ability to, to come up with, drug, with drugs like that, Father. And I just thank you for that. And I just ask you, Father, that that uh, healing power would be appropriated to Jimmy's body. And Father, that you would extend your hand to him also. Uh, Father, I do just lift up the decisions that Jim and I are making about um, March. And we, Father, I just pray that you would help us to be more sensitive to what happens there, whether there is a leading for more or whether there is uh, a shutdown um, and you don't want us to pursue that father father we as a body want to be in your will we want to be doing what you're doing and being what you're being and going where you're going and father we just ask that you would give each one of us direction in that father I don't remember any place in the Bible where it said when you're 75 you get to quit <laughs> and, uh, I just pray father that you would remind us Dave that you have things for us to be doing until such time as you take us to be with you. Father, we do just give you honor and glory for who you are. 
We give you honor, Lord, Father, for this place that you've given us to meet and to worship and to hear your word. And Father, I pray that as we hear your word, we would go from here appropriating that to our lives and, and carrying out what we have found out, Father. That we would not uh, hear your word and then just disregard it. Father, we bless your name. We thank you, Father, for the praise and worship team and for the uh, sweet worship that they lead us into. We thank you, Father, for the word that Jim shares with us, Father. And pray that all of this will be done to your honor and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Amen.